In this tutorial, let's respawn our player in the checkpoint. As you can see, the player started from the house and after reload he is also there. Our task is to reset the scene at the last checkpoint. But how to do it? Let's imagine a small map, a player, enemy and checkpoint. All of these elements have their own starting position. For example, the player has a global location of the 0, 0. If Orc will defeat him, then he will back to this location. In another word, the full scene level was reset. Now let's take another scenario. The player surpassed the enemy and went to the checkpoint. Our task is to save the location of the checkpoint. Let's say it will be 50, 0. Now we need to use autoloads. The autoloads are working independently of the current scene. So even if you will reload the current scene using this line of code, the values from the autoloads will not change. You can hear more about them in my tutorial how to do music controller, where you can play the music between the levels. We need to save the checkpoint location volume into autoloads. So now if the player will be defeated, he will respawn in the checkpoint location. We can easily do this by function player that global position is equal to checkpoint position. Time for practice. Let's create a new script and call it checkpoint. It will be a very small script, just last position variable for saving the last checkpoint position. We need also to add this script to autoloads in project settings. Now let's go to the level script and add a function enter tree. The code inside will be done after the scene is added to the tree scene. It is very similar to the init function, but this one will be done before the children functions. Inside this function, let's check if the checkpoint has the last position inside the script. If it's true, let's use it for the player. The last thing to do is to create a checkpoint scene, which will be area 2D. Let's add sprite and collision shape 2D. Make sure that the area 2D can see only the player layer. More about collision you can find on my how to use collisions tutorial. Let's add a signal body entered, which will be used after the player will touch the collision box. Inside, we need to save the position of this checkpoint. We'll use it after the scene is reset. For a better user experience, we can add a fire animation and use it when the checkpoint is active. Now we can just drag and drop new scenes into the level. And it's testing time! If the enemy will defeat the player, the scene is reset and the player starts from the house, because it's a start position. After the player will reach the checkpoint, the new location is set in the checkpoint. After the next reset of the scene, the player will start from the checkpoint position. Like the video if you like it, in this way you can help me to create more content. That was a basic checkpoint tutorial, you can improve this by holding the information about defeated enemies, collected coins and so on. Have a nice day and see you in the next video! Bye!